Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Diversity and back with another video. If, you, if you're new around it, if you're a returning face, make sure you hit and like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below, you know. We want the big push to 400 subs by the end of February. I know it's a tall ask, but hey, I know I can count on you lot to get me to that big 400 by the end of February and we can be one big family pushing on bigger and further. But we are back. It is a Tuesday night. You know what that means. It is match night. And by the way, if you've noticed, I've got the light fixed behind me that broke in the last game, like at the last moment of the game. So yeah, we invested in some new bulbs there. But anyway, we welcome Bradford tonight. The Bantams to Roots. So what? Where can we start? You know, it's the usual Southend thing. We need to be winning. We need to be getting points. I'm not going to go into detail over how many exactly, but the big three will be lovely. Grimsby's game has been cancelled tonight. I think it's due to a frozen pitch. So this is another big opportunity to get out of it, as we wasted one on Saturday against Mansfield. Which, if you haven't checked out that video, by the way, make sure you go and watch it. It's on like 300 views. Make sure you're getting right over there and watching that. But, you know, as for results for Blues, you know, we are 19th position in the table for picking up home points. Like, so any teams that come to Roots all, we are not very good at getting the points against them. So tonight, well, I'm not expecting much. A draw would be lovely. A win would be brilliant. But, hey, it's going to be a tall ask against a strong Bradford side who are undefeated in their last five. That's two draws and three wins. And the four of those results have been away from home, which is really daunting to know right before a game you need to be picking up points. So last time out, Bradford beat Blues. Blues back in November at Valley Parade 3-0 that was an absolute horrible night for the Blues fans and their danger man their new signing Danny Rowe who is starting tonight you know yeah 190 189 goals sorry in six seasons with AFC Flyde yeah that guy seems like a monster don't give him any space tonight like I said we'll be lucky to get a win we'll be lucky to get a draw but hey I'll take any sort of points tonight just hopefully we don't get absolutely embarrassed tonight come on you Blues Cordner here with his first touch on the ball. Oh, that's a dirty ping. He's pinged the ball from one side to the other straight onto Elvis Buono's feet. Unfortunately, he's lost that out, but what a fucking ping that was. Reco's picked up the ball in the middle and laid out wide to Buono. He's got chance of space to do something good. You shocker. He played it in the middle, low, no pace, and given straight away. But Hobson's actually picked up here. Back to Buono out wide. Buono brought down no free kick. Oh, I forgot it's Trevor Kettle refereeing. What am I on about? We ain't getting no free kicks. Akinola's in the box here, shoot Ak, shoot he brought down ref, Trevor, what are you doing mate, Trevor Kettle is bottling this game, we should have had a free kick and a penalty, ball in the box, cleared out for a Blues call, but ref, every Blues player is around Trevor Kettle right now, no penalty, Jesus, this man. Sam Hart, Hart cross it please, yes enter the box, no one's there, jeez, we get, we're getting these chances, we're crossing the ball but we're not finding the target, come on Blues, wake up, oh that's bad defending there, ball off the head of Hobson, not cleared properly, shot saved, go, 1-0 Bradford, 22 minutes in, I'm not surprised, they're shabby defending by the Blues again, Hobson didn't clear the ball properly, the first shot was saved well by Oxley, and then I think it's the number 16, Clark, who scored, I can't see exactly, it might have been Rowe actually, which oh, to be fair doesn't surprise me, first shot though, saved by Oxley, and the second one just went in, you know, you can't argue that. 1-0 down, 22 minutes on the clock. This could be an awfully long night and down in a wet, rainy Essex tonight. 1-0 Bradford, 23 on the clock. Go on, Rico. Go on. Oh, my God. Elvis is through. He's in the box. Shoot, Elvis. Elvis has scored. It's 1-1. Elvis Bawona, Mr. Southend, the right back, has put it in off the post. 1-1. 30 minutes on the clock. Back in the game. To be honest, I couldn't see us scoring. And we've just gone and done that. Beautiful play. Lucky play, even. But who cares? It's a goal. Rico picks up the ball in midfield. Lucky deflection. Elvis beats the fullback. Gets his boot to the ball first. Runs in the box. Shot into the corner of the goal. It's 1-1. One, one. Holy shoot. We might actually be in with a chance of this. I'll take the point. I don't care. Hold off now. 60 minutes to go. Please hold off. 30 minutes. 1-1. One, one. Go on, Reco. Send it in. Keep it pulled out. Save. Shoot. Bono's got the ball. Hits it, son. Hits it. Goal. No. It's Whisker wide. I think it was a pass through to Akinola there who was right by the goal post and literally just skimmed the post and gone wide. Shoot, that was the chance to make it 2-1 on the half hour mark. But once again, great play from Hackett Fairchild. Dug in there, won the ball, crossed it. Keeper did a kind of dodgy save. Had three players going for it. Elvis got in just wide. Need to be taking these chances. Time after time, we miss these and we lose. We need to be taking them. 
Rico, go on. Lays out wide to Elvis on the left. Cross in. Yes. Head. No. Keeper jumps up there. Great play again by the Blues. Last 15 minutes, we've really made the difference here. We're now on top of Bradford here. Only one minute of added time for the first half. It's gone by quite quick here. Half time at Roots All. Blues 1, Bradford 1. Got to say, first 15 minutes of the game, we did not look in this game at all. Dodgy at the back. Midfield didn't look anything like it is now. And up front just didn't look dangerous in the slightest. We were there. Maybe to even concede three goals in those opening 20 minutes, 15 minutes. But, however, these last 15, 20 minutes, we have been so much better. We've been double the rate of Bradford, I would argue. They're here for the taking, I feel. This team is... This South End United squad can take the points here tonight. If it was all said and done right now, I would be happy. If this was a full-time whistle, 1-1, I'd be happy with it. But, you know, there's been weaknesses in the Bradford team. We've been exploiting that right-hand side a lot with Sam Hart and Ashley Nathaniel George. They've both been amazing down that left-hand side. Getting the ball in. Rico Hackett Fairchild being his little dangerous self. And what a goal by Brian. He should have had two, to be fair. How he missed the second, it will haunt us. It might even cost us the game. We should have scored that. And that's the reason why we're not really off the bottom of the table. We don't take these chances and we need to be taking them. So I'm hoping the second half, it's a big second half for both teams here. Bradford obviously come in the better form. They need the win. We just need the points in general. So if we can take anything from this game, like I've said, I will be amazed. But for the second half, I might just see Hackett, Fairchild and Akko just both up top. Maybe make it 4-4-2, four, 4-3-3 four, four, three, three maybe. Just get rid of the five at the back and push maybe Sam Hart into a left mid, left wing position. Because his crossing is so good. I think we can all agree his defending is okay. But I think as an attacking, like an attacking midfielder, he is so much better. There's so much potential there. But there's a big second half to come up at Roots. Come on, you Blues. Oh, Danny Rowe just came millimetres away there. He twisted, he turned in front of Carl Taylor. Got the ball in his left foot, went for a smack outside the box and came off the top of the bar. I think Oxley got a hand to it, though. Corner to Bradford right now, though. But Jesus, corner's pretty weak, but to the front post, not cleared properly. Dimitri clears it back up for another corner to Bradford. But Jesus, Danny Rowe outside the box. Christ, we gave him too much room. Jesus Christ, this Danny Rowe bloke who came from Oldham to Bradford. What a shot, son. He's outside the box again, left foot. Per absolute pile drive of a shot. Obviously, he has to dive right into the core of his net to pick that one away. But Jesus Christ, this Danny Rowe on the volley as well. I've just seen it. It was rising into that top corner. Jesus. Go on, Ash. Three on three. Ash, play it through. No, he got tackled. Still coming out to Rico. Rico, play it forward. Good. Keep turning. Quick, quick, quick. Into Carl Taylor. Oh, we've lost out there. Damn, that was a perfect cow attack opportunity. We fluffed it. Oh, shit. Danny Rose just laid it off perfectly. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. Back to Danny Rose. Two one. <laughs> was there any doubt he wasn't going to score? The man is in such great confidence. Last five minutes, he's had two shots, which I've got to say were absolutely brilliant shots. Great save by Oxley on both. At this time, Oxley's beaten. Ripped apart there. Nice little one-two between the Bradford players there. Hobson was left isolated on his own. Yeah, you know it was just going to be a pass back into the net. We've got to do it all over again now. We've really got to start going all over again. We didn't really come out too good in that second half. Well, the beginning of the second half, sorry. Yeah, all to do again now. 56 on the clock. Reco! Reco has missed! He has missed from the bloody six-yard box. Brought down the ball, x to his foot. Slide it. This is why we lose games. We don't take these chances. You had Elvis in the first half. Reco has just missed that from six yards. The replay. So he had all the space and time. And oh. <sighs> Jesus, this is why we struggle to watch games. Oh, for God's sake, you're kidding me. You are just kidding me now. What is this? What? It's free one, Bradford. Free bloody one. The number 17, I think. I don't even know. 11, whatever bloody number it is. It's 3-1. We're losing 3-1 at home, for fuck's sake. Like, seriously. I know I'm not dissing Bradford. They're a good team. We can't argue that. But the defence is so weak. Hobson on his own again at the bloody back. There's no one there to support him. There's no midfield. There's just him at the back. What can he do in a two-on-one? Seriously. Mosley's just gone like that. Sorry, you should have figured this out ages ago. Just get a grip, man. For God's sake. 15 minutes left, to be honest. I can see it being four at this rate.
First sub for the Blues has just happened. John White, the captain, has gone off for Richard Taylor. And Taylor's gone in at centre-back. And we've pushed Sam Hart into a centre mid. Why not just bring on, like, Aqua? Or maybe, he said in an interview, Osh I think it's Shane O'Stewart, the, the youngster on the bench, is very promising and showing a lot of promise. Why not give him a game? We're 3-1 down. Throw him on just for a laugh. Just see if he can do anything. But no, we stick on Richard Taylor at the back instead of our captain. There's no logic anymore in this. Probably the last kick of the game, or the last throw, I should say. Bradford win a throw in, put it right in the corner to Clayton Donaldson. Ref blows to full time. No point in watching this anymore. Full time, 3 1 Bradford, as usual. Another loss at Route 2. Yeah, review coming shortly. So, as previously mentioned, 3 1 loss at home at Route 2 to Bradford. I'll go into the good side of things first. Bradford, you look like a well-organised team. You clearly had a system come into the game and you absolutely picked us apart. You took us apart all over the field in that second half. In the first half, I'd say we actually came out the better side towards half-time. But second half, yeah, we were picked apart like crazy. So fair play to Bradford and Bradford players. The whole club, fair play. On to Blues now. Where do you start, honestly? There's questions you could ask all over the pitch. You know, we've all stopped by Mark Mosley for so long. And I'm not going to say Mark Mosley out. Because, you know, this I can't pin this on him. But the fact we've brought in a centre-back when we're clearly lacking the attacking options up front, I just think is a bit bizarre. I know, like, don't get me wrong. He played well tonight, did Tyler Corden. You know what? For his first game, and like, at Roots Hall, you know, I can't slate him. He did actually an okay job at centre-back. Didn't make any mistakes. You could argue he pushed up too much and caused the two goals. But that's the whole defensive job. But, no, I can't say that. But questions really have to be asked mostly about that decision of bringing in a centre-back when you need attacking options. But bigger questions have to be asked of the higher-ups. You know, Ron Martin, where does the money come from? I get that we've been in the crap for the last few years. After Phil Brown, who, I've got to say, great manager, but yeah, spent way too much, like, financial-wise we were done after that and then Chris Powell didn't add to our favours either and then we've just been on that downward spiral ever since then so the questions really need to be asked of the higher ups you know there needs to be some sort of backing here we all want Mosley to be the guy I've said that numerous times this season but every time we watch a game and there's a new signing or it's just we we are behind the team. It's just like when we lose, it's a punch in the face. And then you do the same the next week, the same the next week. It's just so hard to watch nowadays. Questions have to be asked of all the, the staff, really. Mostly, I do question as well that formation. Like you start 5 4 1. Why? We were like nearly undefeated in December with like a 4 2 3 1 formation. Why do you put five at the back? This is why I'm crying out we get a striker from somewhere. I am crying out for it. As are the whole, like, fans, everyone, crying out for some sort of strike. When you play Richard Taylor up top, you know, that's surely a sign we need a striker. Surely by now. But I'm going to end this here because otherwise this will go on for many, many minutes and I've not, we don't have time to be listening to all that. So... Yeah, Saturday against Port Vale, something big needs to change. This week is pivotal. We need to get someone in pivotally, or I'm not expecting much this weekend. I have to be like that now. But I'm going to wrap up here. I'm sorry it's not the best result for Blues yet again, but I hope you stick by me and the videos that I make for you. Hope you're liking, commenting, subscribing, and yeah, hopefully better times are ahead for us. But I'm going to wrap up here. My name's been Dom and it goes peace. Peace. <laughs>